I was known for dance throughout the whole Midwest. I was the one to beat. I moved to LA when I was 18, right out of high school, looking for a career in dance. LA was a disaster. It ruined me. It spiraled pretty quick with the binging, the purging, and the laxatives. I had a really low self-esteem because when I moved to LA, I sucked compared to everybody. I was in a video but dancing around in your lingerie. It's pretty humiliating. I just got to a point where I couldn't take it anymore, and I had all this accumulation of meds, and I called my mom and I said, it's either the pills or call you. And she said, I'll be on the first flight to come get you. That was the first time I told anyone that I was that dark and that lonely and that isolated and that miserable because I wanted everyone to believe that I was going to make it. I came off my meds, but I changed my diet and I was doing, you know, yoga and energy stuff. I had my first PTSD memory. All of a sudden, I started screaming and crying and dropped to the floor. And it was like a movie flashing before me. This memory of my dad sexually abusing me as a little girl. So I wrote a letter to my dad and I confronted him. I wrote in there that I was no longer numb or oblivious to the sexual abuse and trauma he put me through as a child. And he denies it. I don't want to be alone in this anymore. I'm trying to figure out how, how to be in this world. And I just feel guilty for being alive. I'm so confused. I feel like an eight-year-old little girl in an adult world, and I'm trying to function, and I have to have my mom help me. I'm an eight-year-old girl on a 32-year-old body. When you say you're overwhelmed and consumed, that you're hopeless, anxious, and depressed, what about? What do you, what do you think that's a reaction to? It's just become a way of life. It's just I wake up every morning, I woke up this morning and I was like, I, I don't, I can't do this. I can't get out of bed. Like there's nothing. I have no purpose. I have no passion. I feel undeserving to be alive, to wake up. I wake up and I think, what am I gonna do with myself? What am I gonna do? How do I move forward? How do I get out of this bed? And the only thing that gets me out of the bed is my eating disorder. Mm -hmm. It's keeping me alive, and it's killing me. Pretty paradoxical, right? <laughs> I mean, the only reason you're getting up is to be with your disease, and your disease is killing you. It's the only way I know how to cope. What is it you're coping with? The depression and the anxiety. So it's very circular. Yes, <laughs> and we yeah. keep trying to address the eating disorder. and. We don't ever get to the root. We don't ever get to the depression or the anxiety. Uh -huh. And what are you doing to try to deal with the eating disorder? Are you getting professional help? I've, yeah, I've been seeking a lot of help. I've been an inpatient, outpatient, I, and nothing's working. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.